Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis and this is k -On Reviews. Now, as you saw in the intro, today's review video is going to focus on the Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition Optimus Prime. And I wound up finding this one via Facebook and one of the uh, Transformer pages there. Uh, I wound up uh, seeing this one being advertised on one of the pages. I contacted the seller. In turn, we pretty much had a deal. And here he is. And uh, I had him, you know, pretty much, pretty much uh, basically posed and everything. And I have to say he is awesome looking now i have seen other reviews and i will like them point out their faults but i do want to show off this figure i wanted to at least have a couple of images of of optimus and megatron here but holy cow let's go ahead and get megatron out of the way and take a closer look at optimus And wow, this is such a phenomenal looking figure. Look at that. And uh, man, this is such, like I said, this is such an awesome figure. I'm really liking how this is put together. Now, I do have him with his. Uh, with his blaster, or with his arm blaster there. And of course, you know, I do recall uh, seeing this, uh, this weapon. It's not like the, uh, the old generations uh, take on Optimus. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one with me. Uh, otherwise, I would be doing a comparison at this point. But I do want to show you, he does come with his arm so like all the other ones you just pop that off and put his arm back in if i can get on there there we go and wow that is yeah that is so flipping awesome man i'm again i'm really liking it now, of course, like I said, I do have some complaints, which I will touch upon, but let's, let's go ahead and take a look at his other accessory here, and that is his battle axe. And it's not bad. Uh, I'm liking the design. I just really wish they had done clear plastic on here just like uh as i had made a mention in a previous review of the gamerverse megatron like i wish they had done clear plastic on there because i think these lower bits should have been you know purple as well but again that's just my take but you know, nonetheless, nonetheless, you know, that is, you know, my opinion on that figure. But we're touching on this one. Now, of course, this one does become a double-bladed axe, like so. Very nice. Now, of course, he can hold... He can hold the axe. Uh, I do want to say... Uh, 
Yeah, I don't see how he can hold the double bladed axe. Um, one thing that I am having problems with is I can't get his hands to whoops to rotate. It's there, but it's very limited because of this section here. Uh, one uh, another. Oh, uh, anyway, um, this section here, it, it it will allow so much leeway, and that is about it. So, yeah, there we go. Now, to get. Yeah, to where you can have all sort of like doing the lumberjack thing right there. Yeah, you can take this portion out. You can take this off. Ah, there we go. And it does piece back together. But again, um, just yeah, that's one thing that I'm not really liking. Is that there's no clear parts here and here. Really wish there was. But let's go ahead and check out his you know the way he looks here. And here is Optimus without his weapons. I'm gonna show off the detail that's on here. And he's got a lot of good molded detail. Now you can tell in this particular case. They did try to go ahead and make sure he was accurate to the um, to the game design. Now, granted, though, I do have to say there were a couple of areas that basically, you know, they didn't actually uh, get. This is why we will be revisiting this figure when I get the DNA, you know, designs upgrade set. Uh, but that's another story for another time. In the meantime, we will check out his head it is on a ball joint, so you can go ahead and look up, look right, look left, basically do full 360. He's got some really, really awesome, whoops, awesome detail. I'm going to go ahead and just right there. There we go. Wow. Check out that detail that is so awesome looking that's good head scope I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out so you all can see what the hell I am doing all right now, as you can tell, as I got uh, the camera focused on his chest, a lot of good molded detail as the light hits it. You can tell his chest does open up, which I will show off in a bit. Let's zoom out just a little bit more. And there we go. And from there... He's got some good multi detail here along the shins, his feet, along his back. You do see, you know, the front portion of, you know, and you see the wheels here on the side. So yeah, I'm like I said, I'm very very impressed so far. Now his arms, he's got. Uh, He can turn 360, he can go up, which is probably something that they should have done with the Studio Series Optimus from Rise of the Beast. But hey, that's another figure for another time. Uh, his arms got upper bicep rotation, his arms can go around 90 degrees. He does have wrist rotation, but it only goes so far and it cannot go, you know. 360. He does have waist rotation here. His legs can kick up 
at over 90 degrees. It's got a knee bend at around 90. You can, well, I was going to say you can kick back, but no, you cannot kick back. Uh, unless you put his head, uh, his leg up, but this back portion will hit this here. And he does have an ankle swivel, as you can see. So, yeah, not too bad. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take one final look at the big boy. And uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get him transformed. I almost forgot, and I did mention this earlier, he does have one other feature, and that is his chest does open up to show off the matrix. And this matrix does open up. As you can tell, let's zoom in so you can see it very much like it appears in the game. It's got some really good internal mechanics. I really like that. I wish they had done some more uh, in-depth paint apps on that instead of that uh, silver-ish type uh, metal, but I really like it nonetheless. Very, very nice. Now, I really wish, though, that uh, his hands were able to open and close to allow him to hold the matrix. So, alrighty. So, let's go ahead, put him back over there, scroll back out, and once again, we will return. Alrighty, so here we are getting ready for transformation. So we're just going to straighten him out just a little bit. Alright, so one of the first things we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and pull out his flanks. So we're just going to go ahead and pull these sections like so. Go ahead and just turn this around real quick, extend it this section here and flip that around once that's done all we gotta do is just turn this around or i should say turn this around do the same on this side then at this point i'm just going to go ahead turn the waist around just a bit like that and then we're going to take this front section here lift that and turn the head up like that. So once you hear that snap, you're able to go ahead, push the head up against this gray section. And then we're gonna take this section here and flip this down. Once that's there, we're gonna push the sides in. Now, one thing that I do wanna mention, seeing as how I didn't do it beforehand, there's a tab here, there's a tab there. It's gonna go into those little slots right there on the on either side so once we do that in oh we're also going to need to go ahead and make sure there's a tab in this section here make sure all the tabs are there we're going to do the same here there's a slot right over here and there we go the section is done now at this point we're going to go ahead lift these legs up like so now we go ahead and go ahead and turn these arms like that and then we're just going to go ahead and pull this like so and then at this point there's a tab here it's going to go into that slot right there and there you go. All right. Now, at this point, we're going to take this section. We're going to lift that up. 
take the section there. Then we're going to take these wheels and flip them around like so. Do the same on this side. And then do the same with the leg, with the wheels. Now, at this point, this is where we're going to start folding the legs like that. Now take his shins, open that up, put it on this side, do the same on the other side. Now, at this point, all we got to do is just tab everything in. There is a tab, or I should say a slot right there. There's a tab here. I'm going to make sure that all that is tabbed together. Oh, hang on. There's also a tab here and a slot there. But one of the things we need to do first is take these feet and slide those in like that. Take this foot, do the same again. Now, we're going to go ahead and start tabbing everything together. Like so. Then let's go ahead and start moving everything down. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take this section here. Go ahead and fold that in. Now at this point, take this panel and start tabbing it in there. Do the same on the other side. There we go, like that. And we got it. Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty, I think we got it. So, give me a moment here. And there he is. And I have to say, he's not too bad. Um, there's, as a matter of fact, let me. I'll go ahead and just go down so that way you all can see. Right there. Okay. String that out a bit. Alrighty. So, as you can see, he does have some very, very low clearance. So, sometimes you have to see whether or not. You know, you got that. Yeah, there's there's very, very low clearance in terms of in terms of the uh, the vehicle. But as you can tell, he you know, he's got a lot of nice detail. Trying to make sure that he is flush. And he does roll somewhat, but I feel there's a drag, and that's how low his tolerance is, or I should say, that's how low his arms are underneath. So, yeah. Now, I did watch a couple of reviews just to make sure I got this transformation down correctly, because this isn't the first uh, filming or the first take of my review for this. And I wanted to make sure that I got the transformation down correct. Uh, one of the other things I did take a look at was uh, the upgrade set that I will be getting for this to cover up this and other issues with this. And I have to wonder and make sure if the, if the pieces for this DNA will allow clearance, especially for rolling. But uh, yeah. There he is in vehicle mode, and uh, uh, you know it is not bad looking. I'm really liking it. So I'm gonna take a few pics of him, 
uh, for the end cap. But when I return, I'll come back with my final thoughts as well as my score. All right, thank you for waiting. I appreciate your patience. And as you can see, we're right in the middle of uh, Optimus in battle with his nemesis, Megatron. And uh, I think we can see who's got the upper hand at this point. <laughs> but, oh my God. I have to admit, this is a really awesome looking figure. Uh, like I said before, well, actually, I don't, didn't say it in this video, but I have uh, mentioned it a couple of times in other videos. I was not planning on getting either one of these. I was really not that jazzed about them. But then I did see some upgrade sets, which I will be getting another set to replace this one, uh, to replace Megatron's uh, cannon with another set that has a little bit more color in this one, plus an accessory to give them uh, a back, or I should say a, a clean backpack. Uh, and then, of course, I am getting, I am planning on getting the DNA set for Optimus over here. So we will be revisiting these figures, you know, later on. So in this case, there they are as they scale with each other. So uh, I did say I was going to go ahead and give a score and my final thoughts, but. I just wanted to point uh, these two figures out as you know, as they scale with each other. So, give me a moment, and I'll be right back with my final thoughts as well as my score. All right, folks. Thank you for your patience and waiting. I really appreciate it. And here we have Optimus. Firing his arm cannon and holding his double bladed axe like a lumberjack. And uh, I have to say, I am very impressed with this figure. Again, it is not without its faults. There's a lot of gaps, as have been said in other reviews. Uh, there's been, uh, it's basically a lot of the gaps in his thighs. Uh, his uh, forearms or shoulders uh, areas like uh, on the back where his tires are at in vehicle mode you know you got uh, his um, his exposed hands and then of course you got some underneath his feet now of course you know I am I am seeing that uh, the that the uh, that the upgrade set you know that I'll be getting for this um, may be lacking in some good QC, but I'm gonna get it nonetheless because it will correct a lot of the gapage issues, which. Uh, has been plaguing a lot of these figures so i'm hoping that that will correct it i'm hoping that they've already improved their qc since since the other uh review videos i've seen for the upgrade sets so we will see what happens but um like i said i'm impressed with the way this figure is uh again like I said, there were issues. I have addressed them. And uh, if I have to give it a score on a scale of 1 through 10, I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8. Um, mostly because of those issues I had mentioned earlier. But that is my take on the figure. That is my review. That is my score. I want to hear from you. Have you picked this figure up? Now, as I stated earlier, I wound up picking this one up through, you know, the Facebook, mark, uh, Facebook, uh, one of the Transformers groups on Facebook. 
and uh, nice gentleman. You know, we kept in contact, and I was able to get it real quick with no issues. Uh, now, I'm not sure because um, there were a couple times I have seen it, you know, out in the wild and stuff, and I didn't pick it up. Uh, so this, if you have an opportunity to pick up this figure, by all means, do so. But I do want to say that now that I have the Game of Earth Megatron as well as Optimus, I'm not planning on picking up the rest of the Game of Earth line or the, the Gamer Edition line. Um, it, in my own personal opinion, Hasbro really dropped the ball in terms of in terms of certain areas like with Cliff Jumper and uh, Bumblebee, and that said, they're the same mold, just different colors. And in terms of uh, you know Barricade, I'm not really all that jazzed about the figure. And then what's coming up next in terms of the uh, you know, um, the other figure that you can use as, you know, like, you know, soldiers and stuff. Yeah, no. And don't even get me started with Starscream. Uh, yeah, no. So these are the only two that I will get from that line unless something else really, really, you know, catches my eye and really impresses me. Maybe, but I'm not holding my breath. But again, that's my take. Once again, I want to hear from you. Have you picked up this figure? And if so, do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Click onto the bell icon so you can be notified when I post up new videos. This is Phoenix Triconis, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.